Hey guys, Joe here from Clean Getaway Car Detailing. Well, today is pretty awesome. We're super excited to uh, show you we're gonna be tinting our whole front windscreen on our Tesla Model 3. So, so far, you've probably noticed in the videos, we've tinted all the windows, the front sunroof, the whole rear windscreen, the side windows. That's pretty standard for us. I've also done a windscreen glare strip along here. I really, really, really like it. But what I have found owning the Tesla is when the sun's coming through this windscreen, it gets really warm. It really heats up the dash, everything like that. Um, and we're gonna be doing a few road trips with the fam. And uh, I wanna reduce the amount of heat that will come through the glass. So the best way to do this um, is by tinting the whole windscreen. Now, we're not gonna be putting on a super dark film. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to leave this glare strip here because I really like that because it means I'm not always putting the sun visors down when the sun um, shines through that part of the windscreen. But we're gonna be tinting uh, with a very light shaded film. It'll be about 70%, so that's very, very light. Darkest legal is 35, so lower the number, the darker the film, okay? So we're gonna be tinting it with 70% uh, film, and we're gonna be putting on the Rayno S9 series film. So this is the film here. The reason why we're gonna be putting this on, see how it's actually not very dark at all? It's quite light. I'm not trying to make the windscreen look darker. That darker the film doesn't mean it gives you better protection. What's gonna give us better protection is that we're using the Rayno S9 series of the Phantom series of film. And the S9, what that means is it's gonna block out around 93% of infrared, which is the burn you feel on your skin from the sun. So if we can filter that out, that's going to stop a lot of the burning on the, on the dash, on the steering wheel, on me when I'm driving it, on your chest, like around your neck area where the sun usually gets you. So that's what we want to block out. So it probably visually, it's not going to look very different, which is great. Hey, we want to do it first. We want to show people that it can be done and maybe we're going to show you how difficult it is to be done too but we're going to give it we are going to give it a red hot go today so first of all we got to make sure that we cover everything up on the dash because there's a lot of speakers there's a lot of electrical stuff so we want to cover it all up blanket it up and then we're going to crack into measuring up the film heating it up shrinking it laying it down getting protected and then we might even go for a little drive to see how we find it in the time so let's get moving all right, so we got our towels we're going to lay down on the dash. But first, before we do that, we've got to um, get Boba out of his palace. Keep him safe because uh, he's a valuable companion. Put him on the baby seats. Hopefully, Bella doesn't break him. And uh, we'll lay down these towels. And then once we do this, because all along the front in a Tesla, I don't know if you're able to see it on the screen, it's actually speakers. So we want to um, get the towel down there just to help protect that from getting uh, water in it, even though we don't use too much water. And then we're gonna slide this rope down, tuck it down in the front so that it, it stops. It really is very absorbent, this rope, believe it or not. It uh, will absorb all the water that may go down so it doesn't interfere with anything down there. People in the US, tinters in the US, are doing a lot of front windscreens on Teslas. And um, the guys I've talked to that do it have no issues. You just gotta take extra care, which is uh, very much common sense to us. So. So excited for this, can't wait. And uh, time to just get this all wrapped up and protected and then we'll start measuring it up. Good old drying towels coming handy. So just about done, tinting the front windscreen, it's all come together. So now it's just a matter of just doing the fine tuning, getting the edges trimmed up, sorted out. Like you'll see, um, it's hard to see on camera here, but because we've still left the glare strip, there's a bit of a bump, a bit of a, a channel here where the moisture gets collected. So we just gotta um, get that 
squeezed out pretty much and once it heats up and the film shrinks onto the glass more um, that'll clear up really really nicely. Um, front windscreens are incredibly difficult to tint. It's really really awkward, it's very hard to maneuver the, the big piece around the windscreen um, and it's hard to get in there when you've got the steering wheel on the way, you've got the dash, um, it's, it's not a very easy, uh, clear way to install film. So once we put the car outside, we get a better look at it too uh, and see how it looks. But honestly, when you install a windscreen, uh, you've got to be okay with knowing there might be a few little uh, ripples or a few little specks. It's, it's really hard to get it perfect because you can't just soak the whole thing and, and go crazy with slip solution because you've got too many things at stake. So you do have to take a lot of care and sometimes you've got to, um, you've got to uh, sacrifice uh, a perfect install uh, for you know making sure that you don't stuff up any of the electrics in the car. So we'll take it outside and we might even actually go for a quick drive in it just to see what it's like to see if we can actually notice is this, does it actually look like it's tinted? Um, we're going to find out real soon. So it's all tinted, windscreen is done. Now it's time to just go for a drive and let's just get a good experience to see what it's like. Keep in mind, right, it is freshly done. Heaps of moisture between the glass and the tint. So there's gonna be a little bit of funny stuff going on, but that will dry out. So we're gonna jump in the Tesla, go for a spin and just see if there's any distortion or anything like that that we should be mindful. Let's go, Jordan. So first things we notice when we're driving when the car's tinted on the windscreen, slightly different colour. That's because it's it's a very light shaded film. Um, it's got a little bit of a bluey fleck through it. Uh, that's because it's blocking out. It's a ceramic film and it's blocking out heaps of stack of the breath. Can I feel the difference right now? Honestly, no, I can't. We're not really in a lot of heat, the aircon's running, it's nice and cool in here. The car hasn't been outside, it hasn't been cooking outside, so we can't really tell right now. So we'll be able to let you know later on as time progresses. But the main thing we can see, because it's so freshly installed, I can see like moisture, water trapped in the film on the windscreen here, a little bit of distortion, um, and that's pretty normal. Like it's, it's only been 10 minutes since we've tinted this car. So, um, you know, that will dry out, that'll go away. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. It can take a, a few days to really dry it because there are pretty big uh, water droplets there that we need uh, to, to just evaporate out of the film. But as for visibility, like it is absolutely fine. Yeah, I'm not struggling to see out or anything. Like, you know, if, if without the, the moisture in the glass or in the film, I should say, you wouldn't even know it's tinted. It's just super light. It's super good. Um, and it looks nice too. I think it looks quite nice. It's um, usually I got to wear sunglasses when I'm driving because I actually wear eye contacts, um, and uh, I'm always having to wear sunglasses because the the, the 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 light really uh, hurts my eyes. Um, but I feel a lot more uh, comfortable driving without sunnies on, which is really really good. Um, so I'm hoping that makes a difference for me because uh, I don't always like to wear sunglasses when I'm driving. Most of the times I forget to bring them. <laughs> um, and I think that's going to be really helpful. So, yeah, she looks pretty good. Just got to get Boba back on his throne. Where is he? It's back there. Okay. All right, guys, well, it is the next day and we have given it overnight to really dry out. Being in the sun yesterday afternoon really, really helped. So the tint has really cleared up. It's so much better than when it was when we were doing the little test drive before that you just saw. Uh, and I really felt the difference when driving home yesterday in the sun. The, sh the sun was shining through the windscreen, but I could really not feel that burn like I could before when it was not tinted. So we're going to keep an eye on this. We'll let you know if anything changes, um, if it's making weird noises or doing something that doesn't sound or feel right. We'll be the first to know. But thank you so much for watching. Check out our tinted windscreen. You can't even tell. How good's that? See you soon.